YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy Nicola Regano. You are watching my Barber Dreams. Welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to a local police station to cut their hair. It's about the end of quarantine here, and I decided I wanted to give back to the community in some way. I've been dying to give some haircuts. I think it's crazy that barbers are marked as non-essential. I think if you believe your trade is essential, then that is your right. And if you want to take the risk, then you should do it. But that is up to you to decide. So I'm gonna go to the Monongahela Police Station right down the road from where I cut at Main Street Barbershop. I'm gonna cut some of those local guys. Great people there, they decided to let me in to do some haircuts. So let's get on the road. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. I wanna drop more videos, uh, more tutorials, uh, fun creative stuff, especially as we're getting out of quarantine here. And real quick, I just wanna talk about that. Um, I just want to say this quarantine should just be a complete eye-opening experience uh, for everybody. I know it was for me. If you were just sitting on your ass the whole time, not doing anything, treating this like a vacation, then you're not gonna, then you wouldn't have got anything out of this. If you were taking time to plan when you get back out of quarantine and working on yourself and just doing something productive in any way, then you should feel how I feel. I feel like I have a new hunger. I feel like I have a new appreciation for life and just for what I do. I just can't wait to get back to the shop and just, you know, living life as I want on my own terms. So let me know what you think in the comments and just maybe some of the things that you've been doing during this quarantine. But enough of that. Let's get to these cuts. Let's go. In this video, we're gonna be going over how to properly use a straight razor, okay? So the straight razor is very essential. It's what separates barbers from stylists or anybody who else is just trying to cut hair, right? The straight razor is essential getting your edges, your parts, designs nice and sharp and getting your neck nice and cleaned up to get rid of all that excess hair, right? So that's what makes a barber. So if we're getting your barber license, this is kind of half the battle. Um, you know, that's that's the big part of the license is being able to use a straight razor properly. So a lot of people think that barbers use the old the old school straight razors where they strop and they hone the uh, conventional blades. At least in PA where I'm at, um, we're not allowed to use those anymore. And uh, what's weird is you have to have them in a shop to open, but we're not allowed to use them client to client. So you have to change blades each time on the straight razor. You know, you put a new blade in there for every client um, to ensure the best, you know, sharpest blade, all that good stuff. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a video. And if you wonder where you could get this super comfy shirt from my barber brand, The Outfit, and also what I use on my hair, what kind of product, this is the Companion Clay for my product line, The Outfit, based around the Chicago mob. If you want to know more about that, check out the site, theoutfitformen.com. So let's get into different types of straight razors. I mentioned the old school conventional straight razors that barbers used to use. Yes, they used to strop them and hone them. And yes, they still teach them in barber school, at least in Pennsylvania. I don't know what it is state to state. So if you guys know, definitely leave a comment below, correct me or you know share that information. But this is a Parker straight razor. Um, probably my favorite straight razors that are out there. There's a bunch out there, you know, generic names, brands. 
but this one is definitely my favorite. You know, you get ones like this. There's a certain model. I honestly don't know the exact name, but they basically flip open like this. This, this kind of secures that the blade is in place. Then you open it up and boom, that's where you put the blade. Now, what blades to use? Um, I love, I've been using them my whole career, is Persona. Persona blades are the best in my opinion. You know, they're always sharp, always ready to go. And they come in a hunter pack like this. Um, I get these from Amazon, you know, real cheap. So they come in a little package like this. I'll snap them in half. And then boom, you want to open up just like I said. And put that blade in there. Secure it. And there you go. That's a loaded straight razor ready to go. There's also straight razors like this where they slide out. You kind of press this me mechanism here and it slides out. You slide the blade right in there and slide it back in. This is the 245 straight razor. Love this razor too. Um, it comes with different exposures of blades, uh, different cartridges, I should say, that you could put the blade in and it has a very exposed blade, which is good. You could really detail and see all parts of the blade or you could use the uh, more conservative one and then just like that one, the blade only sticks out just a little bit. Um, I'd recommend that if you're a beginner, you know, don't go right into those exposed blades because it'll be that much easier to cut yourself or your client. So a lot of people don't know there's 14 areas of the face. Um, you know, that's a little bit advanced. If you're going to be a barber, you will learn that in school, you know, or an apprenticeship, you know, you'll learn the 14 different areas of the face and what strokes to shave them. So I want to go over the strokes real quick before we go any further. There's freehand, which is pretty standard, right? Um, which you normally see uh, barbers use. There's also backhand where you flip it. You basically flip the blade and you're kind of shaving that way. Then there's also reverse freehand, whereas if our behind the client, so the client's here and it's getting on under their neck, you're kind of scooping it towards you. That's reverse freehand. And then very rarely you could use reverse backhand where you're basically shaving like that. I don't recommend that. I don't use that as much, only if you need to in tight areas, maybe behind, you know, the neck of your opposite hand, you know, the opposite side of the neck. Kind of hard to explain, but that's very rarely that you will use that. Each area of the face requires a certain stroke that you should use in that area. So if you want to learn more about the different strokes, where to properly use these strokes and how to do it properly in terms of the barber boards and how they would approve for it for you to get your license. I would definitely check out the Milady book. They'll probably provide this book or the Molar method, um, you know, in your school or in your barber school. They will train you the proper methods and all the right areas, the correct order to do them and the correct strokes in those areas. So definitely check that out. But if you're just at your home and you want to start straight raising yourself just for your own personal use, this video will also be helpful. So I think a lot of people when they see barbers using that straight razor or anybody using it, that they think that it's just you know straight on the skin at a 90 degree angle and that is the absolute worst way that you could go about it because you will cut yourself or your client what what you probably don't realize is that it's a lot of stretching i cannot stress that enough you cannot stretch the skin enough um when you're first starting to use a straight razor so what i would recommend is that you practice on your arm or your leg first before you even get to your face or anybody else. Stretch the skin as much as you can. You're always gonna stretch the skin behind the razor. So your thumb is always gonna be behind the razor, right? You're always gonna be stretching that skin, pulling it down, and then coming at a 45 degree angle with that blade. You're coming at a 45 degree angle from the skin, right? Stretching constantly, okay? It is easier said than done. It has to come with practice. And yes, it is very important to what you use to shave. So make sure you're using a shave cream or a shave gel. You could always prep that with a little bit of water first. I prefer shave gel because it's gonna be more moisturizing. It's gonna be way better for your skin. It won't dry up as fast as those shave creams. So I recommend 245 shave gel, the best shave gel on the market. Um, there's also you know, a bunch of other ones out there, you know, Elegance Gel, Pacinos. I recommend Tomb 45. Link will be in the description for that. But you just, you coat a little bit on there. You don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. You rub it in the skin. You want to stretch that skin. Also have long and smooth strokes. You don't want to etch it, really. You want to have longer and smoother strokes, right? When it comes to razoring your edges or maybe a line, a part design, whatever it is, 
you still want to use these same steps right but it's going to be a little different you're now you're focused on detail again this is a little bit more advanced this is for my barbers out there barbers in training whatever i know there's a lot of barbers out there they dry shave and i dry shave too sometimes but if your client has sensitive skin or you know it's in a sensitive area you definitely want to have some kind of moisture there so what i like to do one trick i use the shave gel i'll put it on there just a little coat okay i'll razor it with that I'll razor with the shave gel on there. I'll wipe it off with a towel. And so the skin is somewhat moist. It's not completely dry and I'll razor it again. So you'll see that line get sharper because a lot of barbers say, you know, you do it with the shave gel, you don't get as sharp as a line. When you wipe it off, you know, it doesn't look as sharp. I'll wipe the shave gel off of there with a towel and then I'll razor it again to ensure that you'll have a nice sharp line even after you wipe it off and everything. That's a good way to razor your edges and keep a nice sharp line. Also with parts and designs, again, stretching is very key. So you wanna really just kinda wiggle that blade ever so gently in, the, in those parts and designs. You don't wanna go down too far, you'll make it too big or too wide. You just wanna just wiggle that blade. So do it a little bit at a time and then you know take a step back, look at it from different angles. Make sure you're not going you know, too deep into those parts and those cuts. And I can't stress this enough for my barbers, make sure that you are using a new blade every time for each new client, okay? That will ensure just a better, sharper razor, and most importantly, a cleaner razor. You know, especially at a time like this, you know, sanitation is so important. So you wanna make sure that you're constantly changing your blades, you know, you're putting the straight razor after you're done with the use in the barber side. That's the blue stuff, if you don't know what that is. Um, my non-barbers out there, but, you want to make sure you're always changing your blade each time. Even when I put a new blade in, I'll clipper side that. I'll uh, spray some clipper side on the blade just to make sure that there's nothing on there from when even they made it in the factory. You know, so I'm very clean. I always go the extra mile for sanitation and cleanliness. And trust me, my clients notice and yours will too because that is so important. Don't you feel that much more safer and that much more at ease when your barber you know is using the right steps for sanitation and is clean, is efficient, using a new blade every time. So wouldn't you want your barber to be as clean as possible? I know I would. So if you're a beginner barber just getting in the industry and wanna know how to properly use a straight razor for services, or if you're just somebody that wants to use a straight razor at home for personal use, hopefully this video has helped you in some way. And again, for my beginners out there, you know, Test it on a balloon. That's what they did with us in barber school. You blow up a balloon, put a little bit of water on there, and just try edging a little bit with the with the blade. So if it pops, obviously you know your pressure is too much. If not, you know you're doing okay. You know, start with your arm, start with your leg before you move to your face. It will get you a lot more practice and hopefully will prevent any cuts. And again, using those proper steps, stretching the skin, using the shave gel properly, and just using that blade at a 45 degree angle. So it all comes with practice, just like anything. So you keep shaving, you keep practicing, and before you know it, you'll be shaving yourself or your clients with extreme ease and comfortability. So I hope this video helped, guys. Let me know in the comments if you learned something. If you want me to make more videos like this, I definitely will. I love making videos like this. Um, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. I got more videos dropping. I wanna get more tutorials out there. And that's right, I'm trying to get back to these food reviews as stuff's opening back up after quarantine. So stay tuned for that. Also, follow my Instagram, at Barber Dreams by Riggs, if you don't already, for more cuts and videos fun stuff like that. And again, check out theoutfitformen.com if you want to know more about these t-shirts or the Companion Clay, our best-selling product right now. Check it out at theoutfitformen.com. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And until the next time, we'll see you then.